alcoholic here. If you're anything like me and get cravings on a rainy Sunday for dal that your mom made, um, well, I'm gonna teach you how to make it because it's really, really easy. All you need are these split peas and at the end of the store, they're called Tor Dal and it's plain. And I think it says split pigeon pea on there. I don't understand the pigeon part, but the peas. So they're really, really small um, diskettes of dal that you can find at the local Indian store. You can even find it at a Whole Foods. Um, what I've done here is just taken half a cup of dal and what I want to do is put about four times as much water. Um, the dal needs a lot of water to cook because a lot of it's going to evaporate. So don't worry about you know putting too much. You can always evaporate it, but you don't want to have not enough water because the dal will then stick to the pot. And all we're going to do is just boil it for 30 minutes in a small pot. Um, you can leave it uncovered. You can leave it with a cover. It's fine. Half an hour. It's really, really easy. So just simple. All your water goes in there and what I do is I put it on pretty low heat, medium to low heat. If you blast it, I can guarantee you you're going to have about a half an hour cleanup in your kitchen because the doll will bubble everywhere. So you just want to keep an eye on it, but low heat, gentle is fine. Um, and just check on it every once in a while. You'll know when the doll is done. You take a little spoon and it doesn't have a bite. So wait until that's done and your doll will be perfect. So we're gonna leave that, and then we're gonna season the dal with a lot of fun things. Uh, the first one tomato, we got garlic, ginger. Every Indian meal needs garlic and ginger, so no surprise there, right? And then we have lemon juice. Um, the reason I put lemon juice in dal, dal is really, really starchy. So when you're wanting to bring out the flavor of food, a little bit of acid goes a long, long way. I'm gonna do that. And then of course our handy dandy spice um, drawer over here. We're gonna use a couple of these spices to really flavor up the dal and it'll be delicious and quicker than you can call takeout. So, ready? Let's get cooking. All right, so 30 minutes, our dal is now done and we're gonna season it. So what I have here is just a clean pan. And I want a pretty medium to medium high heat while it's heating up. Um, we're gonna put a tomato in there. So a really fresh tomato, I usually just take like a little knife and grab the top of the tomato off. Um, if it's really ripe, try a serrated knife. Um, it really, really helps to cut through the tomato where you're not fighting the tomato. Um, and you just want like really big chunky pieces because it's gonna cook down quite a bit. So, you know, just rough chopping the tomatoes. And you can put onions if you'd like. Um, I just like it very, very plain for this recipe, but there's tons of different ways you can make dal. Um, I do a dal with vegetables, so anything that you might have in the freezer, um, you can take it and put it in, so. All right, the pan is hot. Um, what I use for Indian cooking, uh, especially very high heat cooking, is vegetable oil or canola oil. And for all you health nuts that try to cook with extra virgin olive oil, um, as soon as it hits the pan, it gets bitter and it's very carcinogenic. So if you're gonna use extra virgin olive oil, use it only for salads where you're eating something cold with it. For high heat, you wanna use vegetable oil or canola oil. And the reason is because there's a lot of, um, a lot of these oils have a very, very high um, cooking temperature. And that's the reason you're able to not burn the oil before you start the cooking process. And if it gets really, really, uh, really cooked, it does get bitter. I put probably about a tablespoon of olive oil in the pot. You wanna make sure it's hot. And the way to test it, we're gonna put a teaspoon of cumin seeds, um, whole cumin seeds. And I'm gonna just throw one or two in here. I don't know if you ever remember growing up, but I would just like purse my ears next to the stove waiting for you know the spices to do a little dance. Um, so you know it's ready when you throw them in and they just start dancing in the oil. Um, so you've got about a teaspoon of that in there. And I have ready here some garlic. We're gonna put a clove of garlic and then I have some ginger here, which looks like Mr. Gumby. Um, ginger is really flavorful, and all we're gonna do is take, you know, one of these guys. If you have a little one, great. If you wanna do it with your knife, that's fine too. And just on the small one, just go down like that. You don't need a whole lot of ginger. Ginger's really, really spicy. So we only have all of this hidden gems back of this. And that's all you really need. Um, so my 
cumin is done, I can smell it. Not only can I see that it's gotten a little bit dark brown, but I can smell the cumin flavor. So in goes our tomato. Step back a little bit. And turn the heat down. You know, one of the things when I learned how to cook is to fluctuate your heat. If it sounds like it's really, really hot and sizzling, the, you know, food is crying, I like to call it, turn the heat down. You have to modulate your heat in order to be able to get the right cooking temperature. And then in the pot, I'm gonna put a little bit of ginger that we grated and our garlic chopped up. So we're gonna let the tomatoes cook down. Also to the tomatoes, I've added a little bit of salt. Um, salt helps break the tomatoes down and we're gonna need a lot of the juice. And then we're gonna put our dal in and season. So our tomatoes have been cooking for five minutes, five to seven minutes, and they get really, really mushy, which is what you're looking for. You want the tomato to completely break down. Um, earlier, we boiled the dal, and what I have here is that half cup of dal completely cooked. Um, you see how soft and easy it looks, so it didn't have a bite to it. And all we're gonna do is take the dal and gently pour it into the pot. And we can turn the heat up just a little bit. Now, for the fun part, let's season the dal. So the first thing you want, you know, a favorite yellow spice, turmeric, or haldi. So I only put about, not even a pinch of haldi. It is very pungent, and the yellow color, it, it's great, but you only want a little bit of it. The next thing we're gonna do is spice it up. I like my doll spicy. If you don't like spicy, go easy on it. Um, all you need is about a teaspoon of cayenne powder. Um, so it gives it a little bit of heat. Um, and again, you don't have to put it. It's optional if you want it spicy, go for it. You can also alternatively use green chilies if you have fresh green chilies. But you know what, who keeps fresh green chilies on hand? So I suggest we use the you know, cut up one. And then we're gonna put a little bit of coriander powder. So I only want a half a teaspoon of coriander powder. It's really, really easy. And then we're gonna add a little bit more salt. Um, you have to taste. So with salt, I start with a little bit, I taste it. I always keep a spoon next to me. Um, let's give that a little stir. Turn the heat down. When your food starts talking really loud, try and turn the heat down a little bit. And you only need about one or two drops of the lemon juice. Just really brightens up the flavor. And now for the best part while it's cooking. Let's see if I did a good job seasoning it. Mm, very good. So all you need to do, let it cook for a couple more minutes. And then we're gonna dress it with cilantro, garnish it with cilantro. Cilantro I don't put in while it's cooking. It gets black and it gets bitter. So whenever you're adding herbs to your food, especially Indian food, wait until it's off the heat and then we can add the cilantro. So it's been five minutes and the dal looks perfect. Um, it's mixed in, the tomatoes have cooked down completely. I smelled it, I tasted it. So the last thing for us to do is add the cilantro. Fresh chopped cilantro, never hurt anyone. And come on, really, you're not cooking Indian food if you don't put cilantro in. And that's it. How easy is that? So 30 minutes, 40 minutes to really go start to finish, and you can make your own dal just like your mom did with less ingredients, less fuss. Um, so try it at home.